Then we got Phoenix D versus Crispy Tacos. Mario versus Luigi. Mario versus Luigi. This, this is, is going to be crazy. This is a salty run back, by the way. Yeah, I believe Tacos beat Phoenix D at the At last tournament. Rise. Yes. Yep. Oh. But he, he also went, I told him to go into the lab and play Luigi to learn what Luigi can do yes. and what he can. And I think it works for him really well. So he's putting on that. Look at that. He could have jab locked him right there. Yeah. Already, I've been telling Phoenix D, he's one of these players that's really good. Mm -hmm. He just needs more experience because he's still new to the competitive scene. Yeah. But being as new as he is, he's always a threat. Like, yeah. he takes top players, regardless of their rank, to last game. And always. right now he's keeping even with Crispy Tacos, who ended up getting second place at the last foundry. Yep, he did. He was doing really well. Phoenix D is doing his best to, to put on some edge guard pressure. Yeah. Which is strange. It's Oh, oh, he got gimped. Up B gimped so right there. Hard. That is a tough spot to be in, especially against Crispy Tacos. Especially against Crispy Tacos, and especially against Luigi, yeah. who just racks up percent in one round. Oh, grab. great forward, forward smash. smash. And the game is pretty much even. We take those. Yo, this would be a huge upset PR-wise. Yeah. But yeah. when it comes down to players, like I honestly think these guys are a lot closer to Tide oh, in yeah, skill. I, I, I do too. Yeah, Phoenix D being really smart, knowing that after he gets that up air, he has to shield because Luigi has the option to nair out. But if he does that nair, yeah. uh, Mario can continue the combo. Yep. So Phoenix, being that he's played now against more Luigi's, like he's been taking tips from people in the community, yeah. looks like he's much more comfortable in this right now. He's oh, just, yeah. He's down a bit, but he's been putting in a lot of work with those combos. Yeah, I mean, he, the, the main thing that I noticed uh, from the last tournament that he was at is that he's keeping the fireballs down. Yeah. That was like the one thing that was just like devastating him. Look at that. Oh, that was so really smooth. clean. That so was so smooth. It's anybody's game right now. Phoenix D ends up getting the up smash and takes game one against Crispy Tacos. Let's oh go. My God. Mario hype. This man is put. Okay, I'm a little biased because I fucking love Phoenix D. Oh, 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 guaranteed. I love that guy. Guaranteed. He is such a cool dude. Yeah. Like I've been saying about NorCal and the kind of. Uh, our mentality, mm -hmm. our mantra basically, mm -hmm. is to be cool as fuck, yep. to give everyone a challenge, and yep. to be family at the same time. Like, never sleep on anyone. And Phoenix D embodies that. Like, he's always like, yo, everyone, I want to play with you. I want to get to know you as people. I want to be your friend. If, like, right. that's a thing, you know, like, we, if we and click, we can be friends. If we don't, I respect you. But I'm going to beat you regardless of who you are at the same time. And, like, I, and I love that about Phoenix D. It's like, yeah. no matter what's going on in the match afterwards, you guys are like... Best friends. The best friends, yeah, yeah pretty much. And I mean, going up against Crispy Tacos, we're seeing him really develop Mario and push yeah. him even farther. He used to just be like a master of aggressive combos, but we'd see very consistent moves out of him being like, oh, that's what yeah. Phoenix D does all the time, and that's why he would get like uh, uh, punished for it. Right, but right. he's been doing a lot better. Although, Crispy Tacos right now is in the lead, and being a very long-time competitor in fighting games in general, yeah. uh, Phoenix. From Sma I mean, Smash to Marvel? Street Fighter, Marvel. He plays all those games, man. He plays a couple of anime fighters, I think, too. Yeah. But uh, he's no stranger to that ad adaptation. Yeah. So in this game, we're seeing that he's making a couple of solid changes That here. was an interesting back air. Like, I didn't expect that to land, yeah. but it did. Up B really safe. Oh, Down that's going to kill. Down B is such a strong it's aerial It's actually a option. true combo in training, though. Yeah. You know, a lot of things aren't, but that is... And already, oh, look at that! Look at that. 20, Crispy 26. Tacos is putting in a lot of work right now, using that down throw. Twenty-five. Some solid follow-ups. So the interesting thing about Luigi is that if you throw, if he throws the opponent off stage, most people just try and jump back on and attack. Yeah. And all Luigi has to do is just wait and shield, and then grab them. So that's what literally just happened to Phoenix D. It's yeah. got seventy-one percent, which is not where he wants to be. Oh! He went down there! <laughs> he went and down nah, there man. and smashed that, man. That is incredible. He can still pull this back. Yeah, I mean, he's at 90%, but if he plays really solid right now, he does have rage. Yeah. Luigi's about... Oh, that was a Slight mid, pivot. but oh, the that was down B. Pivot. He didn't end up getting the, the strong hit, but... Tacos goes with the up smash. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to read him now. Phoenix D is just going to have to be really safe. Throw out only his safest moves. Nice snare, though. If he would have landed that 
strong hit of the Nair, it would have been game. Yeah, it would have been Nair over. is one of those moves that also kill. Phoenix D, though, he's in control, and he has to keep control right now. Rolling back air is going to do it, air. though. And it is 1-1. One, one. Incredible. That's what we want to see from these matches. You were just saying Phoenix D will always take you to game three. Yeah. He, he doesn't care who you are. He'll take you to game three. Yeah. If he goes to NCR, he's going to go up against zero and be like, yo, game three? Yo, game three? Oh, man. I'll see you there. Yep, pretty <laughs> it's much. incredible, man. And I, I really love seeing Phoenix D just grow. And Crispy Tacos as well with his new choice of Luigi. He's playing so solid. Yeah. And yes. now that he's bringing him out in tournament more often, he's been playing him for a little bit. But Yeah, he, I mean, Luigi is that character that's super clutch too. Yes. Super clutch character. He, oh, nice pivot grab. I know. Like, oh, oh, oh I was about to say. Dip. I was about to say. That was very close. Gave him that two piece. Damn, Phoenix is ready to take this game. He wants to set. He, he has a vendetta against Luigi. Yeah. He didn't know. Yeah, he, he's, he has some issues with Luigi because, I mean, it, Luigi can break out of Mario's combos relatively easily. Yeah. And uh, Mario does have some different op options he can use while uh, trying to combo to make things a little bit better. Like as you see, when he does the up tilt, he goes for the shield instead of just right. continuing. Right. But um, it's still tough. It's a lot harder. Mario being a guy, he's like, oh, you want to go in? I'm going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Luigi, you have to be a little bit more patient about it. But that's teaching Phoenix D a lot, I think. Oh. oh very I know what he up wanted. Up. Throw's not going to do it quite yet. But all you got is up B. Good use of the. Ooh. I want him to nair when he yeah. tries to do that. Too. Leave nair out for a long time. It's going to make it. That back throw almost killed. Phoenix makes it back to the stage, though. Oh, that was so dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're at the point now where either of these guys, whoever takes back. the first stock, is going to have a good lead. Yeah, back here. And Crispy Tacos does it. Great play so far. Oh, yeah, definitely. They. They do not want to give up. And Phoenix D, he can do it. He just needs to channel that inner. Oh, he needs to read oh. like that. See, he had the read, but he just needed to turn around and F smash. Oh, yeah. Because at low percent, Luigi's going to put a lot on you. Like, it's, it's almost unavoidable. Yeah. He has a lot of guaranteed combos. He does. And we know we have players like Boss who just start inventing things, and then yeah. it catches on like wildfire. In this age, you can't do anything without it being on Reddit first page. Oh, yeah, for sure. Phoenix D is losing the momentum right now. He doesn't know what to do. He has to close out the stock. Uh, oh, no. He just fell. He dipped That's too low. It's not the way we want to go out. Crispy Tacos moves ahead. Yeah. 